In today's video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to create a beautiful grungy double belly band and a handy coin envelope to add functionality and charm to your junk journal. Whether you're a seasoned junk journaler or just starting out, this tutorial will inspire you to explore creative techniques and elevate your journaling experience. So gather your crafting supplies and let's dive in making something special for your one-of-a-kind junk journal. Welcome, it's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. So I'm going to be working in my junk journal planner. I will link a video of how I made this for you below. This is made out of a grocery paper bag and some fabric. And I've already chosen a page to work on, which is back here at the end of my July signature. By the way, if you missed this video where I transformed a vintage photo into this modern tag, you can find that video linked below as well. This is a photo of my mom and I made her into a dragonfly mom. <laughs> and this makes me happy every time I see it. So I'll prop this up a bit to make it easier to work on. So this is the page I want to work on and I'm going to start off with a belly band. And for the decoration of the belly band, I'm going to use these beautiful butterflies. These are a download from Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda. So I will link this for you below as well. There are three pages with butterflies and these are the natural toned ones and I adore these. I have these left over from my recent sketchbook Hamburg project and I printed them out on overhead transparency. So my idea is to take these to the sewing machine and to sew through them. So basically I want them lined up. So let me show you. I want them from smaller to larger, more or less like this. And I'm going to have about a centimeter in between but I'm not going to sew them on paper. I'm just going to sew right through them, always leaving approximately a centimeter in between. If you don't have a sewing machine or you don't want to do this, you can obviously skip this part and then just glue them onto your belly band. I'll show you that later. And you also don't have to print them on transparencies. You could just print them on regular copy paper as well. So let's go to my sewing machine. So I have my sewing machine set on a straight stitch and I'm going to take my first butterfly and just feed it through. I'll set the foot down approximately where her head is and I'm just going to keep sewing about a centimeter after her body ends. Then I'll take my next butterfly and feed her through. This distance is a bit longer than I wanted. I want these to be in approximately equal distance from each other, so I will try to do the same for the next one. And then I guess I'll only be able to fit probably four butterflies instead of five. I'll only do four, and then I'll just keep going for one or two more centimeters. And then I can cut off the tail. So now we have this fun string of butterflies. How cute is that? That would actually also be really cute just to hang somewhere because then they could turn like maybe in front of a window and they could turn with the wind. That would be really cute. Anyway, we're going to put it in our journal and I want to put it on a belly band, but I really love the look of this page. I love that the background is really kind of like neutral. So I have another one of these coffee dyed papers. And the way you get this kind of design is by just dyeing your paper as you normally would. And then you could spray some more water so that you have some puddles. And in those puddles, you add some coffee granulates and just let them dissolve in the puddles slowly. Let it air dry and then you get really fun designs like this. So I'm just going to cut out a strip. Mm, I like this part right here. So my height is already perfect and I'll cut it 
here and how wide do I want it? I'm totally fine with one of the butterflies being potentially wider than the belly band. Doesn't really matter. I'll do it like this. I want my belly band to have a torn edge look. So I'm going to use this metal tearing ruler. This is by Joy Crafts. I know it's sometimes really, really hard to find, but you can also make your own if you search on YouTube for handmade tearing ruler, you will find some great tips using rulers that you already have at home. And I don't want my belly band to be so flimsy, so I'm going to back it up with some craft paper. I have this one here from Paper Poetry with a mixture of 110 GSM papers and 270 GSM papers. I think the 110 one is going to be totally sufficient. So I'm again going to tear a piece off and I want this to be a little bit wider than the other belly band. And I'll also tear off the top and the bottom so that I have the frame of this all around. Next, I want to grunge up this bottom piece here. I want the edges to be a lot darker. So I'm going to start off by spritzing those edges with water. And then I'll add some Distress Oxide Spray Walnut Stain with the nozzle. And that is going to give me a really cool effect and look how it immediately starts running and oxidizing it is so cool i'm actually happy with this since we won't be seeing the middle i'm not too worried about getting a lot of this into the middle oh, such a brilliant effect and so quick and easy if you don't have oxide sprays or any kind of sprays and you can do this with watercolor or any water soluble media you might have the only thing you won't get is the oxide effect which is what you see here, this color changing into the gray. So I'm going to dry this. So we have this now. I love it. I think it actually almost looks like rust. And now I'm kind of thinking whether I even want to cover all of that gorgeousness up. Let's see what it would look like if I put these straight on here. That's also cool. All right, let me see what it would look like if I ink this up with my walnut stain. I think they do come out better on the lighter background. This, of course, is a lot more grungy. What I could do is just add a little more grunge to the edges here because I do want to keep this middle light. So in this case, I'm going to again take my nozzle and go along the edges without adding water first, just to get some of this color down. And look how it's immediately oxidizing. It looks so cool. And then I'm also going to add just a little bit of water to make it run a little bit. I don't think it'll run a lot. Okay, I think that's good. And I'll dry this again. So here you can see a good comparison of the two methods. So this was the one where we added the water first and it spread a lot more. And on this one, we added the pigment first and then sprayed a little bit of water. And this here is the back, and I actually like that better because it has more of these warm, rusty tones. So I'll put this on top of that. The only problem is that now this beautiful design here from the coffee granulates is not really visible here. I do think I like the warm tones on the edge better here, even though I'm missing the design, but it's okay. The butterflies are coming out really nicely. So I'm first going to 
sew these two together but i'm going to sew them together so that they will actually make two belly bands so we can stick something in here and something underneath here so i'm only going to sew it on top here and here if you don't have a sewing machine you just glue here and here okay so i went over it with a zigzag stitch front and back so that it would be a messy stitch and now I'm going to adhere my butterflies. I want to turn them so that the side I printed on is on the back. I just like doing that because that side is a little bit more delicate and it's less shiny than the front. So I'm going to take my art glitter glue, you can take PVA glue, whatever glue you want. And I'm going to just put it here on the body. And that will, of course, turn transparent. So I'm gently going to pick them up one by one and glue them down in the right position. Then I'll cut this down a little bit. And there's our grungy butterfly belly band. I love it going to leave this page as it is i don't want to take away from the belly band so i'm just going to glue this on the top and the bottom and in no time we have a fun double belly band one and two so next I want to make a coin envelope that I can put in here. And for that, I'm going to use this crunchy paper, which is a rust paper that I also have available in my shop. I will link that for you below. Take anything you want that fits to the design of your pages. So I'm first going to cut off the white border. And then I don't think I need the full width so if i just fold it like this i just need enough for these two edges to overlap and i don't need my coin envelope to be this wide so i think i want it this wide so i can cut off quite a bit i'll cut off a bit from each edge just because my design is more towards the middle of the page You'll have to see what works for your page and I'll show you how to fold this in a moment. The height is totally fine because of course I will need a flap at the top and the bottom and once I fold those I think it should work well for this belly band. This is the first video I'm filming after the sketchbook Hamburg project and I'm just so happy that I don't have to worry about bulk in my planner or junk journal. <laughs> what a relief! That was really a constraint I was not happy about trying to make a junk journal out of a sketchbook. <laughs> so now I can just fold this. So I'll fold one into the middle and I'll fold the second one so that they overlap enough so that I can glue them together. I love making coin envelopes. They are so simple. Now, which side do I want? On the top I think this side because my top flap is usually longer than my bottom flap and I really want to keep this here so this is my bottom flap so I'm choosing approximately one centimeter to fold up doesn't matter as long as the flap is tall enough for you to glue it and then I have my top flap which is going to be a little bit wider approximately like this this is maybe like two centimeters again it doesn't really matter you don't need exact measurements now we can double check to make sure that the size is going to fit into the belly band but it will be no problem as i can see yep that's going to work nicely so then i'm going to unfold this again and I'm going to cut away all the parts that I don't need that are going to provide unnecessary bulk. So we want a flap on the bottom and the top. And I'm going to cut like a trapeze shape. So I'll cut a slant here and I'll cut a slant here. 
And then I'll just cut away these two pieces right along the crease. And for the top, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm first going to cut here along the crease. So we have straight edges now. Then I'm going to cut these away, but not on the crease. I'm going to slant this a little bit because that's just going to make it easier to put things in and take things out of the coin envelope. And then I'm going to fold these in and I'm going to fold this in half, but without creasing it here in the middle. We don't want to crease. I just want to line up these two corners of my top flap and then I'm going to cut a rounded corner and this way they will be exactly the same shape. I'm not happy with that. I want to round that a little bit more on top. Yeah, that's better. And before I glue this together, I want to add something here and on the bottom, I don't need to because we're just going to glue that up. But of course, this flap, we're going to see the inside of. So let's just grunge that up as well. So I'm going to take my water again and then my distress oxide. And I'll again put it along the edge. And then I'll spray some more water because this time we will see this part. So I want some of that to run inside. It's not really good doing a lot. So why don't we just spray a little bit too? And then I'll dry this. Okay, this definitely turned out a bit darker than I have anticipated. I'm just going to go with it. And before I glue this together, I'm going to ink up all my edges with walnut stain. And finally, I can just glue it together. I just need to decide. Yeah, I want this side to be on top. And then I glue the bottom flap up. There's our super grungy coin envelope. And since I don't like this flap opening like that, I want to make sure that is closed. And I'm going to do it very simply by adding a brad. I found these in my stash, which I have had, I don't know, four years, five years. Never use these. And look, by coincidence, this one is a butterfly themed one in exactly the colors that we have here. So that is awesome. The only thing I'm not loving is the silver outside. So I want to change that by putting some alcohol ink on it. I'm going to use this caramel one. It's by Ranger. Then I'll pick this up and hopefully that will just go on the edge. Yeah. I'll get that drip off a little bit. Ah, don't want it covering all of the butterfly. Okay, that just needs to dry for a moment. They dry very quickly. So, no more silver. Now I fits really well to our grungy coin envelope. I just need to now punch a hole. I'm going to use the small hole of my crocodile and try to center that. And then I need to pick some twine. I have this one which is thin enough but I don't want it white so I'm going to dye that. I'll do three lengths approximately of my coin envelope. I could do it with alcohol ink, but I have more. Mm, I could actually also do it with coffee. Let's do that. I have some coffee here in this little bottle. I think that's the easiest and less messy method. Don't have to worry about putting gloves on. I will dry this. So now you can see the before and after. Quite a difference. 
So I put my brand through my hole. And then I'll just knot this around my brand with a double knot. And then I'll cut off the short end. And then we can just wrap this around once is enough, and then we can just wrap it around the bread. Like that, and we can cut off the end. And of course you could decorate it further if you wish. This is going to go in here now, and there we go. This looks so funny, this looks like it's one huge antenna. <laughs> You could, of course, also make a non-grungy version of this. The most important thing is, whatever you decide to do, just have fun. Love you guys. Mwah! Mwah! <laughs>